when's the best time and the worst time to list your postcards for sale on eBay? Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. On today's video, I wanted to give my thoughts on when I believe is the best and worst times to list your postcards on eBay for sale. You know, as you know, eBay is an algorithm. It's a computer. There's not um, a person in a chair deciding, you know, when to show your postcards and when not to show your postcards. It all depends on how much activity you have uh, when you're in your store, when you're tweaking things, when you're changing titles, uh, adjusting your prices, any kind of activity that the um, the algorithm sees, it's going to give you a boost in, you know, search. So therefore, hopefully, you make more sales. But is there a, you know, a good time and a bad time to list your cards? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about on this video. Now, understand, I'm taking this from my personal experience and my opinion. And you know what they say about opinions. They're like belly buttons. Everybody's got one. Okay, now let's talk about the days first. These are the days that for me, and this is just me, the days that work the best. Usually Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday late, and Saturday late. And I'll explain in a minute, you know, why that is. Okay, um... Sundays, because Sundays is kind of a given, you know, especially Sunday nights, ever since eBay has been around and uh, has been eBay, you know, people have been on their computers Sunday nights because they got to go back to work Monday morning and they're checking out eBay to see if they can purchase something before they got to go back to work. So Sunday nights has always been a given between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. or 6 and 10, somewhere in there. There are the times as well, you know, uh, during those days, uh, or usually during the morning hours. Now, I'm an early riser. Okay, I've always been an early riser. Uh, my dad was a farmer. He used to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning. He had to be, uh, when he was driving a truck for the company he worked for, he, he had to be to work at 4 a.m. So I think that's where I got it from. I start my day usually at about 3 a.m. And I'm on Pacific time. And the reason I do that is because I'm trying to target uh, buyers that are on the far east coast, you know, like in Florida or in Massachusetts or in Maine or New Hampshire or Vermont or New York or Pennsylvania, somewhere over in there, Rhode Island, um, you know, those uh, east coast states, because when it's 3 a.m. here, it's 6 a.m. there. And usually in the morning, 6 a.m., between 6 and 10, they're on their computers. So that's when I want to get those listings out. I want to refresh my store. You know, every morning I have a certain amount of listings that are about to turn over. I will refresh those and do a sell similar on that. And then I'll start listing some more cards. And usually I'll have one or two sales just from that because there's people on the East Coast that are just waking up. And I know that's not for everybody. I can't expect everybody to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, especially if you got to go to a job at, you know, 6 or 7. But who knows, if you're really dedicated and you're an early riser, maybe you could try that. But also, uh, 3 in the afternoon, you know, because, again, when it's 3 in the afternoon here, it's 6 p.m. on the East Coast. And, you know, I have had a, an occasion where uh, I'll get a sale at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'll think it's the East Coast, but actually it's here on the West Coast. I've had several sales where I've gotten right at 3 a.m., and it's somebody here in California or Washington State that's just up at 3 a.m. and they're buying my cards. I'm like, okay, so that's what they want to do. That's great. So that sometimes works for me. But I usually start my day pretty early. And those early morning hours on those specific days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, I do it on Wednesday. Wednesday isn't a great day for me. but uh, And then Saturdays and Sundays. But uh, yeah, that works for me too. Now, that's the days and times that work for me. Let's talk about the days and times that don't work for me. 
and one of those days is Wednesday. I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's hump day and people want to take an extra day of rest because they've worked a couple of days already during the week and they're tired. They just want to take an extra day because usually the only time they have off is uh, Friday and I mean Saturday and Sunday. So maybe they just don't feel like getting on their computers. I don't know. I have made some sales on Wednesdays, but not a whole lot. It just seems to be a kind of a dead air day for me. Saturdays, because usually during the day, Saturday, um, people are out and about. If it's a sunny day, nice weather like it is today here in Florence, they're out and about, you know, with more states relaxing their um, areas where people can go. They just want to get out and about. Because they've worked all week and usually the weekends is the only times they have available to get out. And usually it's pretty crowded, but that's the only times they have. So that's when they go out. And they're not usually around their computers until like Saturday night late, Friday night late. Same thing. Um, they finish up Friday. They want to go out Friday night to a restaurant or a movie or, or maybe an event, theater or something. Uh, they're not going to be around their computers. So those days... Uh, the times that really don't work for me, Wednesdays and Saturdays during the day, Sunday also during the day. You know, again, if that's the only time that they can get out and about and um, do things, you know, whether it's running errands or whether it's just enjoying their lives, that's usually when they get out if they have to work all week. So those are the times, those are the days that uh, are working for me and the times and the days that are not so working for me and the times as well. You know, it's kind of like that old saying, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, it's kind of like the same way with the algorithm. If people are sitting in front of their computers and they're doing things, tweaking their listings and, you know, changing their titles or adjusting their prices or whatever, or listing more cards, you know, the algorithm is kicking in. It's doing its job. But if there's nobody in front of their computers to see it, Will you make a sale? Probably not. It'll probably just get, you know, passed over. Now, my goal, of course, is to make sales every day. And I think the way you can do that with postcards is the more you list, the more chances you'll have of making a sale. So you want to try to strategically put your uh, efforts into when you believe that people are going to be in front of their laptops, in front of their desktops, because that's usually when they buy. And, uh, that's, that'll give you the greatest opportunity, you know, for someone to purchase your cards. And sometimes multiple times. You know, I've heard people say, oh, you need to be listing all the time. But I don't think that's true. I mean, yeah, you'll eventually, you know, keep the algorithm going. But like I said, if there's no one in front of the computer to see it, it's just going to bypass that stage and nobody will per make a purchase. And you'll wonder why you still have no sales. So try to figure it out strategically. Now, keep in mind that depending on what state you're in is going to depend on when people are in front of their computers. Because obviously, I live on the West Coast here in, on the West Coast of Oregon, you know, and 6 p.m. here is not the same as in Massachusetts or in Vermont or in Maine or in Florida. Okay, if it's 6 p.m. here, it's 9 p.m. there. They're three hours ahead of us. So you have to make that determination as to when you feel is the best time to, uh, you know, be active in your store, depending on your specific time zone. You know, in the Midwest, they're like one or two hours ahead of us. You know, so it wouldn't do any good for me to say, well, just be on your computer at 6 o'clock at night, because 6 o'clock here isn't the same as 6 o'clock on the East Coast. So just try to keep that in mind when you are listing or tweaking or whatever you're doing with your uh, eBay store, because that can have a you know adverse effect on your sales. And you, like I said, you want to try to be as active as possible, but you got to pick those special times, those sweet spots, if you will, to to do that. You know, feel free to share in the comments as far as when you think are the best times what are what's working for you try to stay active in your stores and um, hopefully you'll have the best sales of your life because this is a great uh, niche to be in you know when i think about when i make a nine dollar or ten dollar or fifteen dollar sale on an item that i only spent anywhere from 10 to 25 cents on 
and it only cost me 51 cents to to mail it you know that's pretty good <laughs> but like I said with postcards it's a numbers game you have to get a lot of postcards I mean I know some people that have got tons more postcards in their stores than I do you know um, I know one gentleman that I follow on on YouTube here and uh, he's got like over 7,000 cards in his store and then there's somebody else that's got 20,000 and 25,000 I'm nowhere near that but I'm st I'm at the point right now where I'm starting to see sales every day just about and that's what you want to get to you want to get to um, how many cards you have to list as to where you're starting to make at least one sale a day for like 30 days straight that's that's a good way to gauge that so I hope that helps guys I hope I've added some value to uh, you know those of you guys who have uh, decided to go into the postcard market you know the, the postcard industry I'm seeing more and more people uh, leaving comments on my YouTube videos saying, you know, that my my advice helps them, which is good. That's what I want to try to do. So if that helped, guys, then make sure you smash that like button. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it. And I guess that's it for now. I'm going to get back to doing some listing. It's about time that I usually uh, do it. And oh, and here's a bonus tip. You want to try to get into a routine. OK. Um, I meant to mention that earlier, but if you can get into some kind of daily routine where you're doing it, you know, the same time every day, then that would be good. It'll be a lot less taxing on you to where, um, you know, you'll be able to uh, list at certain times and then you can almost expect sales to happen at certain times, you know, depending on how many cards you're listing and that kind of thing. So keep that in mind too. Listen, I got to go, but you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye for now.